The FERC was created about 10 years ago. We created this as an opportunity to bring together the faculty, the community, the students, and clients to produce economic research. One such client was Dustin Williams, Vice President of the Greene County Fair. The fair does not use any government assistance to keep themselves running. Furthermore, the clientele has changed alongside the growth and popularity of the fair. The financial integrity of the fair needed to be researched. We've had a lot of questions over the last three or four years about how do we make it uh, more financially sound. And uh, one of the things that came up was doing a market research study. The FERC is focused on four primary areas. We do research in housing, tourism, and agriculture. We do research in banking. In the primary data collection research, Pinpoint Software was looking for a researching partnership to establish data on the grocery stores in their circuit. As we looked around the industry, we really wanted to find something that had data on consumer behavior as it pertains to expired food. We realized doing the study ourselves probably wasn't the best idea because we wanted to be able to stand behind the results and say that they were vetted and proven and not biased based on an outcome that we would ideally want to have for Pinpoint for Datric Pro to look better. And so by coming to the university and coming to FERC, that creates that extra stamp of approval that this is a sound research project. The Lake Koshkonong District used research provided by the FERC to aid the Supreme Court for litigation against the DNR. For the first time in the history of the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, they had to take into consideration economic impacts of what their operating orders do to lakes that are created by impoundments. And we're getting a lot of inquiries from other lake districts around the state of Wisconsin and how they can use not only the FERC data, but also the actual decision by the Wisconsin Supreme Court, how can they use that to achieve their objectives for their local lakes. After turning to the Water Council in Milwaukee for suggestions on water quality research, Executive Director of the Fund for Lake Michigan, Vicki Elkin, approached the FERC to learn more about economic impacts on projects created by initiatives that the organization was supporting. We knew that we had a really strong record of environmental impact, but we also were curious about what the economic impact of that work was. So you looked at ultimately our first five years of grant making. One was what was the economic impact of the dollars we were putting in the community directly. You also then looked at the outcomes of the grants themselves. So you came up with a number of um, different factors to reflect what ultimately our impact on the community was. We take this opportunity to apply our knowledge and training to the real world and attempt to produce results that are tangible, verifiable, and understandable. It's going to work out really great, I think. I'm really looking forward to the results that we're going to get back and what we can find out to move forward and hopefully uh, make some better decisions in the future. So by using FERC, we're getting that outside verification and results, and then we just will use the results as they stand to mold the best practice for our business and for the retailers that we're serving. With the help of FERC, I mean, this, this really did put this southern Wisconsin lake on the map. I think FERC will be our partner from this point forward. 